Hello, and welcome to Convince Catholicism, a place for all things Catholic. Today, I have the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And as you can see by the notable Beretta, this is by Baronius Press. Um, this book was donated by uh, Henry from the channel, a longtime viewer and a monthly supporter. So uh, if you are also interested in that, please uh, check it out. Um, this is uh, the real deal. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, check my other review on another little office, which is quite honestly a uh, jumbled up version of a bunch of different Marian prayers, which is not totally authentic to the name. Uh, this is the <clears throat> kind of, for lack of a better term, OG uh, little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. But then there's also some more stuff in there. So Bronius Press is noted for its reputation of producing good, orthodox, uh, high quality Catholic, Roman Catholic specific products or Western Catholic products. Um, however, this is the second book I review of theirs that there is a quality issue. Uh, I'd like to give them the benefit of the doubt, but uh, one book I have by them, Divine Intimacy, the printing on the spine is uh, a bit skewed. And notice here that the ribbons have been removed. That was done by Henry, the donor, because as far as I can tell, the ribbons were frayed completely uh, top to bottom to the point where they were unusable. Uh, he has been, uh, I guess you could say... Um, I guess that, that that issue has been addressed for him by Veronius. So at least their customer service is good. Uh, so uh, this is the pre-Vatican II uh, liturgy, the uh, little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And uh, you'll see that there is office one, variations for office two, variations for office three. You do not go through the days of the week as you would say... The Divine Office or the post-Vatican II Little Office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Uh, although I hesitate to call it the post-Vatican II because it seems that Catholics, if they're going to be praying the Little Office of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whether they like the Latin Mass or not, they, teen, they seem to gravitate toward this one. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful office, but I don't know why they gravitate toward this rather than, say, the post-Vatican II version. Office 1, Office 2, Office 3, Gregorian chant, the little office of uh, the Blessed Virgin May explained, indulgences, commemorations, calendar, Angelus, and the litany of Our Lady of Loretto. So we'll be taking a look at this. So what are the three offices? Uh, so really, it's just one office it's just that there's three seasons so the little office here would be from candlemas all the way to advent that would be office one and then if we go to office two you'll see that uh office two would be the advent season and then office three would be christmas all the way to uh, Compline of the Purification, or Candlemas, right? So technically, it's, you know, there's no really, there's not really an ordinary to this. It's not days of the week. It's not for specific feasts or anything like that. It's just the same thing every day. But depending on what season you're in, the antiphons and hymns and the psalms will change. So, uh, this book is formatted a little bit different than, say, the Angelus Press version, which we'll also be doing a review on eventually. Uh, oh, we should do the size of this, shouldn't we? Right, so this book is four inches wide, six and a half, uh, well, six and a quarter inches tall, probably only about two centimeters. Yeah, uh, I mean... 
less than three quarters of a three quarters of an inch. So nice pocketable book, right? So this book is formatted a little bit different than the Angelus Press version, different translation of English as well. Uh, but it also has more details inside. So we can see here that there's Gregorian notation. The Gregorian notation is not impossible to learn. It's actually uh, not that hard at all, uh, especially if you know sheet music already. This is different, but you'll get the hang of it pretty uh, fa fairly quickly. Uh, so uh, I won't go into detail about that right now, but you can also see that it has the history of the little office. And then we have uh, the attention and intentions. And then let's go to the calendar. So the calendar has feasts that are uh, related to the Blessed Virgin Mary as well as feasts that are kind of adjacent to her. Whether it has to do with Christ, Joseph, the apostles, or popes that elevated the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, that will be here. So uh, a, a bunch of feasts that are Our Lady of insert intercession here, or uh, patronage or matronage here, uh, family members and uh, I guess you could say in-laws, cousins, so on and so forth, the apostles, and not quite much information at all, except you have to pray certain uh, version of the office depending on the uh, season, right? So uh, overall, the book is excellent. As you can see here, uh, the translation is a... I would call it a Dewey Rame style English. Let's see if the English translation is mentioned in the table of contents or in the the copyright page at all. So, and if someone knows the language uh, translation, the English translation of the uh, the English translation, please let me know but it doesn't seem to say, but it's a Dewey Rames-esque translation. But as, as an example, here's the Latin and here's the uh, English. The English will always be on the left column, which I, I prefer. I don't prefer the monastic diurnal gutter English. Uh, so, uh, unless the Lord had been with us, now may Israel say, unless the Lord had been with us, when men rose up against us, pre-adventure they had swallowed us up uh, alive. When their fury was enkindled against us, pre-adventure uh, pre uh, the waters had swallowed us up. Our soul passed through a torrent. Per-adventure our soul would have been would have passed through waters insupportable, so on and so forth. So we can see here that it's it's not. Uh, it's it's not aggressively thee and thou, though if you are totally averse to that, uh, they don't uh, make, as far as I know, a version of the pre-Vatican II one in Old English, so you might have to settle for the uh, post-Vatican II version, which is very different. Unto thee I have lifted up mine eyes, who dwellest in the heavens. That's, you know, this psalm had none of it. This psalm had quite a lot. The paper is quite thick. It's thicker than Bible paper. Uh, it's even thicker than, say, a normal novel. Uh, I think you can see how durable it is. It doesn't really fold over very easily. Uh, I would I would not dog ear these pages, uh, fold the corners, that is, but it would be pretty hard to anyway. This is a very nice, uh, thick paper. Everything Bronius Press does is you know, it's, it's noted for its high quality. Uh, the marble uh, end pages, beautiful artwork here. This is the only artwork as, a far, as far as I can tell. Um, the leather, I would say, is 
uh, at at best bonded leather, at worst a very very good synthetic. Uh, this is not their best cover, it's, it, but it's better than a lot of covers. This will last you years and years and years and years of prayer, uh, and you can you would be able to learn uh, Gregorian chant through this book as well. So for someone who's looking to get started in praying a liturgy the hours of sorts this is great if someone's trying to be less overwhelmed if they're trying to start a uh a a goodness what's it called a devotion for advent and christmas great place there's a there's an opportunity for you to pray at any time of the day and it's pretty brief uh the idea of this would be to supplement uh the divine office for those who pray it regularly though i have seen the argument made that lay people should be praying this and not the divine office overall i would say uh, seek the advice of your pastor but as a faithful catholic person i can say that any prayer is good as long as it's uh done i, I can't say right but as long as you are praying to God, as long as you're doing something positive in your life, uh, with that prayer, that is good. You know, uh, the, uh, uh, the great St. John Paul II said, uh, praying period is, is good. So, uh, I would highly recommend this as an alternative to the divine office, maybe supplement the, uh, shorter Christian prayer with this or Christian prayer with this. I think it's wonderful. Uh, anyway, thank you very much and God bless.